Osman's uh, presentation. Osman, yes, thank you I'm again here. for for joining us. Ah. It's uh, it's fantastic to to have you as part of this community, and we look forward to uh, hearing and seeing about the Horn of Africa. Yes, yes. Over to you. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a pleasure for me to be with this community, and I'm really interested about the um, uh, virtual museum, how it's working, and uh, as you know, the Somalia is always and a difficult situation. So I have been struggling to uh, collect the biodiversity information for Somalia about 30 years. So let me take the, my up. Excellent. So, We're in. Yeah, uh, biodiversity of Somalia, it's very, uh, very interesting. But uh, as you know, in Somalia, they are very um, complex in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a conflict situation and they don't have any museums and they don't have any geological situation. Therefore, let me introduce Somalia first. As everyone understands, Somalia is located in Horn of Africa, which has a land square with 637,000 kilometers square and has, uh, has got uh, 3,333 coastline, is the second um, uh, country of uh, long coastline in, in Africa. Madagascar is the first one and the Somalia is the second one. We have a population of 15 million people which are changing the face of the land or the landscape of the habitat for using their food production or for housing, anything. We also uh, have in Somalia 51 million of domesticated animals, which needs to be fed every morning. 7, 000, 7 million of them are a camel. And yes, and the, um, the slide from the left, I want to show you how the Somali vegetation are. are, are. Uh, if you look in the first uh, north part of Somalia, we have a coastal desert steppes, the red one, and the brown one is the mountain which comes from Ethiopia, ends to the Indian Ocean, and that is the barrier from from the Red Sea to the lowland of the savanna and, and bushland in southern Somalia. We have a riverine area and we have a riverine woodland. We have two rivers. One is the uh, uh, Shavela River and the other one is Juba. Both of them are coming from the Ethiopian highland uh, and, and end is all of them to the Indian Ocean. So uh, we have also lowland forest, which is uh, the lowland forests which are connected from Somalia to uh, Mozambique and, and there is the swamp area. On the red side uh, and then uh, on your right side, we I have put uh, some data on how many flora and fauna are found in Somalia, which is very interesting. Flora of Somalia, we have um, so far 3,165 species is recorded, is uh, documented. Eight or 800 of them are endemic to Somalia, and if you look the endemism in within the Somalia from the from the south to the north so the endemism increases from the south to the north so if you move from north you will find a lot of endemic species of plants uh, the mammals we have 76 32 of them are restricted into horn of africa particularly um, dig digs are very uh, important we will see it Birds, we have 659 species recorded. 10 of them are endemic and most of them are larks. Uh, Amphibians, we have 29 species in Somalia so far recorded. Four of them are endemic. The other important uh, things is the reptiles. As you know, 230 species of reptiles are recorded in Somalia. 80 of them are also uh, endemic to Somalia. And it's also their the distribution for endemism, it's same pattern to the, to the flora of Somalia. So if you go from south to the north, you will find more endemic species of uh, reptiles. 
uh, freshwater fish, we have 71 species, 22 of them are endemic. And then uh, we have the two rivers and we have a lot of uh, springs area, which we can uh, um, are found in this endemic species. So the rest is very uh, challenging to collect. We uh, didn't have a time invertebrates to collect their data and, and, and micro, microbiotes. All of this is very challenging for Somalia right now under the circumstances of the conflict and situation. Uh, Somali societies are pastoralists and uh, the southern part you will find the uh, what is called the agro-pastoral and in the northern regions are more or less uh, pastoralists. They use the camel for transportation and uh, since they are mobile mobile system of uh, ranching. Uh, they are not uh, fenced, they don't have any fencing, it's open and they move from one place to place. When there's a rain or when there is a drought, they move from one place to another place. Uh, most of my work is uh, in the north of Somalia because south, southern Somalia where I live in Mogadishu is very uh, complex and it's very difficult for doing bed watching anything. So in the north of Somalia, you will have a goldless mountain, which I show you coming from the Ethiopian site goes to the area and in between the mountains there are dry valleys which um, during the rainy it, 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 is, it gives a flash floods and all of them. So the mountains are covered some uh, plants and most of them uh, acacia, acacia trees and we have in the northern part also some uh, evergreen uh, forest which is a remnant from the Mediterranean elements. Uh, in, uh, I want to show you two of very important, uh, these two animals are always behind the mountains in the Red Sea, close to the Red Sea, and this one is uh, Belsenis gazella, uh, it's only it's from the Somalia to Djibouti and northern uh, um, Eritrea, and Somalis gazella is, we, we have uh, also some population is um, fragmented population is in Somalia, but we have a large uh, uh, population in the Red Sea or uh, from the behind the uh, Golish Mountains. Um, these two animals, uh, antelopes, are also uh, when you come down from the uh, mountains to the lowland, you will meet um, Grenouk and, and, and uh, Spikes gazella which are also endemic to Somalia. This one is very endemic to Somalia and it also goes up to the Indian uh, Ocean. Yeah. Uh, the other two birds which I want to do the comparison is Arabian Pastat. It's, you see it's, uh, it's behind the um, um, mountains to the close to the Red Sea where you find this species. And here is a Kori Pastat. Kori Pastat you will find the uh, when you come down from the from the mountains to the lowland area, uh, we have uh, dictics. Somalia have uh, more than uh, five different species of dictics, which is uh, some of them are very complex, like uh, Sultanese dictics, which we have here. Some of uh, of them, uh, Philippines dictics, and this one down, I have no idea. Uh, what will be, but we need uh, more research on the diversity of the dictics because dictics are, are, are they have the center of evolution in Somalia and, 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 and uh, it's very challenging for Somalia. No one has completed the, 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 the taxonomy of, of dictics in Somalia. The last sit down from the right is the Greater Kudu, which I photographed this uh, seven. 7 of January of this year and is a new record for Somalia to, uh, to confirm that these species are still present in Somaliland and northern Somaliland but um, the IUCN has already uh, indicated that these species might be extirpated from Somalia. Uh, we have also two uh, carnivorous uh, animals, a uh, black jacket uh, on the left side 
and the other one is Rubolis. Uh, focus, both of them are present in the north of Somalia. Uh, um, I haven't seen it, uh, lioness, I haven't seen it, uh, uh, leopard, cheetah, and all of these things. I am just trying uh, to work a uh, few uh, in this area. Uh, I'm working a few years in that, in that area. And this is the uh, two animals which I met during my stay in Somaliland. Um, and now if I go to the birds, which I mostly do the uh, bed mapping, um, this is a uh, fox-tailed uh, drongo. And uh, the, the right one is a uh, blue eared starling, which I also do a lot of um, 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 bed, bed addressing. On the right, right side, we have also a magby starling or in, in, in with the comifera trees. And here we have a yellow a white pellet canary, which is uh, standing on alu, alu plant. Uh, on, on the next uh, slide, uh, the right one, the top right one, top left one, we have a Somali uh, pulpul or a common pulpul, but Somali species. This one is endemic to Somalia. And the right one, uh, the, the top right one, we have um, white, white crowned starling, which is common to Horn of Africa. And the down one, we have a um, little uh, bastard, which is uh, uh, endemic Somalia, Ethiopia. Um, this one is, uh, and then the down one, we have a uh, uh, lark, uh, it's called a uh, Theleka lark, which is also a uh, uh, subspecies of Iliotti. Iliotti is in Somalia, in the north Somalia. Um, the top left we have also Somali um, uh, Somali pea eater, which is uh, unique to Somalia and Ethiopia, uh, Meropus ruveli, and the right uh, left we have also the golden uh, golden priest, which is common to uh, all African uh, countries in the north, uh, eastern, and southern. In the, in the, and down to the left, we have a rosy budget shrike, three of them, which is a, they are sinking in a dry season. And in the left side, we have, a, to the right down, we have a Somali um, shrike, Somali fiscal shrike, Laniarus um, somalicus. Um, as you know, the Somali is a dry land and most of them are the, the uh, uh, we have a larkis, and this one is a desert lark, which is coming from Somalia to Djibouti up to up to the Sahara, uh, North North Africa, and the down we have a spotted thickney, which is also common in to Africa, and the top right we have a crowned stallion and crowned uh, crowned uh, lapwing crowned lapwing in in Benolos coronatus and the down one we have a uh, shelis stallion which is uh, sometimes uh, breeding in somalia north of somalia uh, here we have also um, uh, another interesting um, um, uh, tokos or uh, yellow pellet uh, home pill which is a common to uh, eastern eastern part of Africa, and down we have a spotted um, sand cruise, which is coming from Somalia up to um, northern Africa. And to the right we have uh, one race is called uh, Lalic breasted roller, uh, by subspecies Lorti, which is uh, common into uh, Horn of Africa, Ethiopia, Somalia, uh, and it's common for Somalia. And then we have a, a reptile which is common to Somalia. If you go to Somaliland, you will meet a large population of leopard uh, tortoise everywhere if there is a leopard tortoise. And this shows that the Somalia was stable and was dry uh, in the glacial period because yeah, the, the reptiles and all of them are concentrating into the north part of Somalia. 
Uh, in bed mapping, I started uh, 2018 December, and uh, I'm doing only uh, occasionally because I'm not uh, involved in a project. It's in my own um, what I love to do. It what I've been doing in Somalia from 1982 up to now. But the civil war has interrupted my work in Somalia for bed watching. Um, but I returned it still is. 2008 um, started uh, bed watching in the northern Somalia. I have a few complete uh, record um, uh, painters, but most of my travel is related to my work, and I have to uh, submit um, um, not not fully uh, full uh, report. So few records I I have it and and and. Thank you very much. That's uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity, and um, it's, that's what I wanted to present. Thank you. Hello. Yes, fantastic, uh, Osman. If you can, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, that was that was fantastic. Lovely uh, to you know for us all. I think to uh, be to get exposure to be shown. Yeah. Um, you know what what you have in your country and i think that we can all appreciate the tremendous difficulties and challenges yeah. that you face with the yeah. uh, with with the conflict situation in your country yeah. um keep up the good work and uh yeah. yeah it's it's just fascinating as a as a citizen science community as a, a bio bio mapping community to uh um you know to have you as as as, uh, as part of the family so thanks mm. so much. Um, any okay. questions? We have just a, a couple of minutes. We are a couple of minutes over, but um, I'm sure that if, if anybody has questions for Osman. I see everyone is amazed with the, with the presentation and the, and the photos. <laughs> Incredible. I think for, at least for me, it was yeah. the first time seeing part of Somalia. So thank you so yeah, much. It was very, very yeah. nice. To see it's a pleasure for me to be with here. Yeah, I think yeah. many of us are probably in that in the same uh, the same situation. That uh, yeah. it's uh, it's yeah. it's been a first for us. So wonderful to see and to know that there, you know, there's someone like you, Osman, um, getting on and uh, doing what you can. Yeah, I I need I need a lot of help from your community because Somalia is not uh, well. Uh, advance on this uh, taxonomic and all of this and I haven't started even photographing for entomology or uh, uh, invertebrates and or the reptiles so we are st I have just uh, established Somali wildlife and natural history society in order to advance the, 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 the conservation of Somali flora and fauna but it's very challenging for one person in this uh, large large country which is a different uh, taxonomic uh, complex so i hope we will join the handy to to work together and try to uh, establish kind of specimen collections in somalia can i ask one quick question osman um how are raptors doing in in somalia do you have uh, secretary birds for example and just like raptors. Oh, yes and... yes uh, we 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 have a, what is called a grassland area in Somalia and most of the grasslands are in a, a, a eastern side of Somaliland because I just walk into the west side uh, I didn't have the opportunity to walk into the east side so there is a lot of record of of um, secretary bed in Somalia, and and, and uh, we have a and, and and one of the problem is now encroachment of um, of the push to the to the grassland because there's no any more elephants and there's no any more uh, animals who can uh, subdue this uh, bushes. So. But but I, I am hundred percent sure uh, we have uh, um, secretary bears in Somalia and yeah. Great, thanks. Yeah.
just a, a comment that I made in the in the chat box is 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 remarkable to think of the similarities and high levels of endemism that occur in the Horn of Africa area, particularly in the more arid, semi-arid areas, and the you know similar southwestern African um, semi-arid and arid zones. Um, I think that there and there are a lot of, I guess you could say, species groups that are similar, um, particularly mm -hmm. in terms of the birds. Uh, mm -hmm. And as I think Steve Woodall was was commenting, there must be some fascinating Lepidoptera um, waiting to waiting to be discovered uh, there. So, if Absolutely. any, I think if any of us in this community know of people who might travel um, to the Horn of Africa, we really need to encourage them to photograph whatever it is that they that they're finding, yeah. just so we can yeah. start documenting yeah. um, the biodiversity yeah. of that area. So, visiting yeah. birders, Osman, I don't know whether. Are there any tour companies, international tour companies that are bringing birders to Somalia? I know that yeah, rock they, jumper birding tours were looking no, at the possibility. But, yeah. um, I, think, I think the Somaliland is very peaceful and there was uh, some 2011, 2010, uh, uh, some group from Britain who went to Somaliland and this, they have published their record. So I travel when I have any holiday, I go to Somaliland and take my camera, my binoculars. But in the southern side, it's very challenging to take any camera and binocular. Everything thinks that you are documenting their properties or you, are, you want to uh, claim their land by photographing all of these things. So it's very challenging. But in Somaliland, since 2018, December, I visited uh, different places and I tried to photograph. Mainly I was concentrating on birds, but uh, occasionally when I found the other um, reptiles or mammals, I do also photographing. But in future also I will try to uh, put myself also to photograph Lepidopteras and, and uh, everything, or Coleopteras or Petalis, whatever I found. Although uh, I, I walk around, but I, I try to focus on birds because I have uh, uh, this. Uh, I, I'm very interested in the, um, the bird lesser because it gives me um, the geographic uh, location is uh, geographic information, and that I can use into the, my 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 uh, geo uh, geo information in order to 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 map each species. So this collection data is very important for me, but I started right now. I don't have a lot of time to stay in Somaliland, but one week, two weeks, I go there and every uh, year. So it's very interesting. And, and we welcome anyone who wants to join us there for birding or wildlife uh, observations or any collectionist, it will be no problem. We, can, we have a lot of uh, friends in Somaliland who can support us to uh, facilitate our visit there. Yeah. That's, that's fantastic and lovely to have you as a, a very strong contact in that part of the world. Yeah.